coach Kevin Lofton and Connor Baranek after a 79-67 win over Fort Hayes State. Grandson Carney advances to the semifinals with the office stand on, on Sunday at 7.30. Our coach would like to start their opening statement. Um, one, we feel very fortunate to be here. Obviously, Hayes is a tough opponent. Uh, it's the third time we faced him this year, so uh, we knew it would be kind of a grinded out affair, which it was for most of the game. We were able to pull away late, but uh, we were proud of our basketball team tonight. I thought we did a good job of sharing the ball. Connor really stepped up for us. Ethan, Trey, all had good games. I thought we, we did some really good things as a unit out there, and that, that's what I'm most proud of, and, and we're definitely going to need it for tomorrow night. Uh, both of you guys just got up coaching. Connor, what was it like kind of in that rivalry here? Um, it, I mean, a little different, obviously, to be on a neutral court. Uh, so it, it's, it's a rivalry, but it didn't quite have the feel. I mean, at their place, you're going to play in front of about 3,000, same thing at our place. So it didn't, feel, it didn't have quite the same feel, but, but you knew you were playing an opponent that knew you quite well. We played them for three times. Uh, this is the third time we played them. Obviously, you got, they got a couple seniors that were really playing their hearts out, trying to get another game just like ours were. So uh, we knew it would be a tough game. Yeah, the rivalry, obviously, us versus Fort Hayes, it's a big one. We don't like to lose to them. They don't like to lose to us. But uh, I think we just kind of stepped up at the end when we needed to make some plays. Um, I got to tip my hats off to those guys. Those guys competed really hard. And it's not fun seeing those guys go out that way. But I'm just glad it's not myself. But <laughs> 37 points tonight. You got to the line uh, 19 times. Uh, what, was, what was working for you uh, tonight offensively? Um, a lot of guys were just finding me on cuts, and uh, thank gosh they kept fouling me because I couldn't make a layup anyway, So, and then I couldn't make a free throw for most of the part, so that was kind of a struggle there as well, but uh, uh, my teammates just find me really well. I can move without it, and they always know what I'm doing, a step ahead of what I'm actually going to do, so they kind of can find me early. Coach, I kind of cut closer late. Uh, what were you guys able to do away from right now? I thought we did a good job of moving the ball. We, we weren't taking quick shots during that stretch. We got the ball reversed. It was a little dicey because Ethan was on the bench with four fouls. So, you know, you're sitting there playing the guessing game. When, when is it okay to put him back in? But thankfully, Connor was able to uh, do a good job late in the shot clock of attacking the basket, getting fouls. Ty hit us a big three over there in the corner. Uh, got some good ball movement, even though we were, we were kind of isolating late in the shot clock. So uh, we just took care of it and, and worked together and got a good shot. That's what we, that's what we want our kids to do. I mean, I, I, uh, I don't, that's the first time I've seen him. Uh, our, our assistants, I've seen him. A good idea this from the scout, but just looking at him, uh, I would say our front line is pretty similar. And I think we play similar styles in that they seem to spread the floor and let their kids play. There's not a ton of sets. I mean, they have some, but it seems like they just got good basketball players with good IQs, and they're just playing the game. And that's kind of what we like to do as well. So uh, hoping we can stay out of foul trouble and, and, and really kind of should be an entertaining game for the fans.